Hello everybody, it's me, Awful Tutorial Channel here, and I'm back with another awful tutorial that will help you. Today, I will show you how to install Tale of Two Wastelands. Yay. Okay, for reference, this mod packs Fallout 3 into a mod so that you can load it into New Vegas and then roam the DC Wasteland in New Vegas with all the improved game mechanics. The link will be in the description as always. You click download TTW, and you see this, and then you see competition down here. If you want install instructions, and you go here, and you'll see for version 3.2, current version, they're working on it, and there's a video which is competition. I can't, I can't do that. So for now, you go download TTW, and then you click this little finger dinghy right here. It'll take a few seconds, and then it'll plop down here like a delicious pork sandwich. So now, close your browser, because it is absolutely useless. Navigate to Downloads, and you will see this. You need 7-Zip, or Windows Extraction Tool. Windows Extraction Tool is finicky, so I suggest 7-Zip. Right-click it with 7-Zip, and then do Extract Files or extract here. I'd extract files and you hit OK and then it it's off to the races. These are all completely safe. There's no there's, there's nothing wrong with them. So now you'll have this file. Enter the file and you will see this gigantic mishmash. The only two files you care about are these two. This file is the standard TTW installer. And this file is the installer that does not re-encode audio. For reference, the audio archives, the BSA audio archives, the Zlib things, for reference, they're a really old compression type, truly awful, and they'll cause audio crackling. This doesn't fix audio crackling. This does fix audio crackling. I highly suggest you use this version. This one will take quite a bit longer, however. This is installed as CDW. This redoes all the audio in Fallout 3. It fixes it all. It's, it's really wonderful. You should really, really <clears throat> enjoy this. So now, double click this, and it'll say, do you want to allow this to access your computer? Now before I forget, once you get to this place, you choose your Fallout 3 directory, New Vegas directory, and then where you want Tale of Two Wastelands to go. Before you click install, you have to do this. You have to, have to, have to. There's no getting around it. Go to where Steam is installed. In this case, D, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then scroll down to Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3 Game of the Year. Go into, whoops, New Vegas, and then double click the launcher. New Vegas will now select things for you that you do not wish. So go into your launcher, fiddle diddle around with it, and there you go. This generates the INI files. Now, do the exact same thing for Fallout 3. Fallout 3 Game of the Year, you see all this horrendous trash. Now, Fallout Launcher EXE. Go waste windows. Now it should appear. Right now Steam is going through the first time startup and it's, it's having an aneurysm like this shit. I don't need that. Uh oh, bad language. Woo, there we go. Detect hardware, ultra high quality. If it's not an ultra high quality, I will cry. Turn off that trash. And I'm only doing this for ENBs. You don't have to do this, I'm just compulsive. So, now that you've run the installers, the launchers I should say, your uh, INIs are generated. It is fantastic news. You can you can give yourself a big meaty slap on the back. You win. So now open TTW installer. See now it sees where it is. So make sure this file path is correct. X86 Steam Steam apps common salami Fallout 3 program files X86 Steam Steam apps common grocery store New Vegas. Now this I am not going to do this. If you are lazy 
and you are not going to reinstall TDW or you have no intention of editing it, leave it like this. This will install it directly into New Vegas, like a direct syringe into the vein, and it'll be there. I am uninterested in that because I like to fiddle diddle around with things, and I want to fiddle diddle. So now, I will go to Downloads, and I'll make a new folder, and I'll call it that. So now, TTW will go into the scrotum. So now, check your directory, Fallout 3, Fantastic, New Vegas, Edible, Tale to Wastelands, Scrotum. Now you have that done, click Install. And you see this thing? Those are those little wonderful little files you have uh, you have in your game. These are the files in Fallout 3 that are being converted. So now while that's going on in the background, you can admire this beautiful file structure. If your antivirus is designed by Satan, like mine is, sometimes it'll screw with your files. And it'll give you an aneurysm like this. I had to restore the base ENC file, so... Depending on your antivirus, you may have to give it a slap on the wrist or disable it when installing this. Note, this is perfectly fine. Antivirus is just trash. So right now this is zooming along and they said it'll... Ooh, big jump. They said it'll take between... Uh, smacking your chest is necessary. Between 1 and uh, 10 hours. So it's it's zooming along there. The fireplace in the background is crackling. You can't hear the crackling because I don't want to be copyright striked. But it's zooming along. And this will take quite a while. So I will pause the recording momentarily. And I'll jump about an hour ahead. Just take note of the time. It's about 4.02. So I will see you on the flip side. Ciao, I'm back. After much debate and me running around the house in circles while screaming in Swahili, and roughly hmm, about 70 minutes of my life wasted, it is uh, complete. You don't get some flashy message that says you're your winner, Big Riga, off the rails racing, off the road racing. That doesn't happen. I'm really sad I missed it. So, once it's done, exit. And now you'll go to the, uh, the file folder thingamajiggle in which you uh, had it. So in this case, I changed Scrotum to a TDW v3.2 install files to make it a little bit easier for uh, uh, whatchamacallit, say it, uh, for Fallout Mod Manager to uh, embrace it, to hold it within its arms, and hence install it. Um, I'm going to pack it as a 7-zip file. The reason for doing this is because a mod man manager has an easier time reading a zipped file rather than an, uh, an open folder. This also makes the, the uh, folder and its files easier to work with. So, big file, that's a video file. So, while that's compressing, I'll take you on a tour. Welcome to my candy shop. So. This is all the copyrighted music. This is the NVS, the NVS, ew, NVSE stuff. Sound. Video files. Note the file size. It's pretty big. These are the little videos you see like one year later, two weeks later, three years, six years, nine years. And these are just little uh, video sequences throughout the game. Like, for example, when Colonel Autumn ambushes you in uh, Vault 87. Things of that nature. And now you have some Vietnam files. You have ESMs. Things. Wonderful, wonderful things. You'll actually have uh, New Vegas' files here. You'll have the override files. So that's new. This is all new. You go down here, and you have Yuchikagi's unofficial patch here for TDW. That is at the very end of your load order. And following my install of this, I will show you the correct load order and, well, how to go about it. So as you can see, it is almost done compressing. 
and is it straight of various violin radio station that's Agatha's song so here we go this is the file folder these are our fantastic files and it's done now if you're worried about a virus channel I will scan this for you yep nothing wrong with Symantec and nothing wrong with Malwarebytes files are completely safe you have nothing to worry about so you can ignore all these you want to uh, focus it on whatever you called your uh, zipped archive in this case mine used to be scrotum but now it's install files make sure not to use this because that would be a that would be a bad idea so open your mod manager in my case farm fault in these read only please 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 rub my back yes fuck actually that's a good thing I thought it was scrabbled. I thought I read the uh, Fallout 3 stuff. I'm sorry for that profanity, YouTube. I love you. So, add faux mod. This is a, probably my least well structured uh, tutorial. Find your install files thing. Verify that it's roughly 2 gigs. This is the uh, file we made it out of. Open. Open Sesame. And you can see here. So now, activate it. Preparing format. Please, please rub my back. No, Fallout Mod Manager. I won't. So, let this skedaddle. And while this is uh, cracking its knuckles and uh, punching uh, pixels, you don't have to use a Mod Manager. If you remember back to the, uh, the launcher thing, it said browse for path. In fact, I can show you right now. See here, where it says uh, tail to wastelands path? If you set that to data, it would just grab, here we go, it would grab all the files from your scrotum, or in this case all the files from this folder I made, it would grab all these files and it would copy paste them into New Vegas's data folder. If you don't want to use a mod manager and you would like to go a little bit faster, you can just copy paste all these into New Vegas's main directory. I'm sorry, New Vegas's data folder. So that's an option. And let it zoom along. Preparing foam mod. I will pause this until the foam mod is complete so you can see what it looks like at the end if you are doing it this way. Come back, and this is what you'll see. Click that, close this, and make sure that your load order is correct. As you can see here, it's all goofed up. You don't want that. TDW site will have more up-to-date uh, load order instructions, but for the time being, please order it the way I'm going to. New Vegas, Dead Money, Honest Hearts, Old World Blues, Lonesome Road, and then the Gunrunner's Arsenal. Now, Fallen Gunrunner's Arsenal is Fallout 3, then Anchorage and the Pit, Anchorage, the Pit, then Broken Steel and Point Lookout. There we go. Now after point lookout comes Zeta. And after Zeta is Caravan and Classic. So Caravan. Classic. Then Mercenary Tribal. Mercenary Tribal. Now Tell to Wastelands and then Uchikage's unofficial patches TTWESM. This is the load order you need. You need to have this. There is no getting around this. This has to be your load order, otherwise it will not work. The installer installed NVSE for you. It installed the four gigabyte enabler for you. 
neither of those you have to install now. So all you need to do is get the uh, NVSR and NVAC. So just in case you would need that, I will show you how to do it. All of these links will be in the description as always. So first up is NVAC. I understand. And after NVAC, NVSR. The New Vegas Stutter Remover. And then after the Stutter Remover, what the hell? Is this a different version? Oh, I guess they removed it. Awesome. Well, ignore that then. There we go. That's it. That's the right one. Set remover, and then you want Lutana combined with JIP. Oh, great, no results. Well, if I search LN, it should appear. There we go. JIP LN. And this. Now, all of these are the exact same and the way you install them. Manual, and then you'd sign in. Manual, and manual. Now once you have the files, all you have to do is go into your mod manager, in this case Fallout Mod Manager, because Nexus Mod Manager is broken. Click Package Manager, Add Faux Mod, and then select it. So in this case this, I, I don't know. The thing I told you not to, you can click open and then it'll appear here. Click it, activate it, and make sure, please, it follows after these. Do not put it anywhere in this load order because then your game will have an aneurysm and will implode. As long as you follow that, install any mod you want after that. After those things, these are the utilities, the main meat of the mod. You cannot screw with these files here. You have to leave them as is. That's it. It's set in concrete. If you want to have a Fallout 3 mod into TTW, you have to check the Tale to Wastelands website. And skedaddle over there. These are install instructions. And these are the mod releases for version 3. So, here you go. I'll put the links in the description for you all. You can check around here for the current mods that are converted for the new version of TTW. And that should be it. Now you should have everything you need to play Tale of Two Wastelands. Thank you. I hope this helps.